have a problem. My monarch caterpillars are disappearing from my butterfly garden. I would like to raise monarch butterflies, known as Danus plexibus, to bring into my science class. I've witnessed several female monarchs laying eggs on their favorite host plant, the milkweed. A week later, the caterpillars are hatching normally and they continue to grow and develop. The caterpillars are there in the morning when I leave for school because I check them every day. But several times this has happened when they've disappeared by the time I get home in the afternoon. So I know something is happening to them during the day. I have seen a few ant hills, birds, wasps, and spider webs around the garden. So it makes me consider caterpillars have been eaten by some kind of predator. Because I want a lot of caterpillars to bring into my class, the other the overall purpose of this experiment is to increase the number of monarch caterpillars that reach adulthood. And there's a nice larvae of the monarch feeding on milkweed. The primary predators for monarch caterpillars are ants and spiders. Since Michelle has seen a few ant hills and spider webs in her garden, Research has led us to believe that these may be the predators eating the caterpillars. A bug box is an enclosed environment that allows living insects to grow while protecting them from outside influences such as predators or changes in their habitat. This would be perfect for keeping the caterpillars safe from predators. Lastly, it takes a maximum of 22 days for a monarch butterfly to reach adulthood from the time an egg is laid. Our hypothesis states that the presence of a bug box will allow monarch caterpillar eggs to survive into adulthood. The independent variable for this experiment is the bug box and whether or not it is used to protect the monarch butterfly eggs. The dependent variable will be measured through the amount of eggs that develop into adulthood. The controlled variable will consist of monarch butterfly eggs, the material and size of the bug box, and same plants that the caterpillars grow upon. We dedicated an area in each of the three pollinator gardens for a bug box where the, garden, where the eggs of the monarch butterflies can grow without any disturbances. The other portion of the gardens were not protected by the bug box and the eggs were exposed to their predators. We put 20 eggs in each of the areas, allowing them to hatch. After 22 days, we counted the number of adult monarch butterflies in the screened-in gardens and the number of adult monarch butterflies within the bug boxes. This experimental design would allow us to have some replication. It would also be considered a causative between groups study. It would be called causative because we directly manipulated the independent variable. It would be a between groups study because we compared the dependent variable between the experimental and control groups. Here's the raw data that represents the number of adult monarch butterflies left in each garden after 22 days. The independent variables would be whether or not a bug box is used, or another way to put it, is the environment at which they grew in. This would be qualitative, either you have a bug box or no bug box is present, and discrete, because it can be categorized. The dependent variable would be the number of adult monarch butterflies alive after 22 days. This would be quantitative, because they are numbers, and discrete, because you can't have half a butterfly that is living, or at least we hope not. After compiling this data, the next decision would be the type of graph we would use to display this information. Because we have one dependent variable and two discrete independent variables, we decided that a bar graph would be best to represent our data. Here's a bar graph that was generated from our data. One can see that on the x-axis is our independent variable, either screened in or a bug box. The y-axis is the number of adult monarch butterflies alive after 22 days. Although no statistical analysis has been ran, it looks to us that the bug box has a much higher number of adult monarch butterflies left after 22 days than just the screened in that lacks the bug box. After performing the experiment, our data showed that our hypothesis was correct. We hypothesized that the presence of a bug box will allow more monarch eggs to survive into adulthood as compared to the eggs that were not under the protection of the bug box. We conclude that it is best to allow monarch eggs to grow in a bug box so that they have a higher survival rate. 